or get to um, come in and pick up our craft, which I'll explain right now. So we are going to make a Walter. Now I know, and you know, that spiders have how many legs? How many legs do spiders have? Eight, right? But you're gonna make a spider with six legs. Maybe he had an accident. So <laughs> this poor spider lost a couple legs. You can stop in at the library and pick it up, or you can um, ask for it on curbside service. You'll get a little spider body, which is made out of a piece of an egg carton. You will get six uh, pipes um, cleaners or chenille stems that are cut to be legs. Now, in each side of the egg cup, we have three holes. I don't know if you can see them. There they, yep, there you go, three holes. And you just um, have the child. First, they can either color the spider body or paint it. I left it gray just so that it's easy to see what I'm doing. It's easier than if it's black. They can have a purple spider or a red spider. And if you look up spiders on the internet, they can be all sorts of different colors. So whatever color you want your spider to be, and then you just take your chenille stem and poke it through one of the holes. It's a good uh, fine motor skill for the children. Now on the inside, you'll see that little chenille stem. There he is. I like to fold that down or up, or, you know, press it, bend it so that it doesn't come out so easily. And then you bend the chenille stem on the outside to be a leg, all right? And you can give them little feet if you want and turn the foot up if you want to give it a little foot. And you just do all your stems like that. So you'll get your um, egg carton piece and your chenille stems. And this would be a cute little decoration for this month. And you can, like I said, do legs if you want or do little feet if you want. You can roll them. You can do whatever you want with the legs. And then it will come with two googly eyes also that you can glue on. All right now, my purple glue is showing. My glue will go on purple. It will clear dry, but um, it will dry clear. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's late. It will dry clear. So you can have eyes. Now, if you wanted to take a marker and draw a mouth, you, you could, or little fangs if you wanted. Um, but that is your spider. Now, he's just how he is. He's a fun little spider. You can have him um, on your desk or your bedside table at home. Um, and if you wanted to make a bunch of them, you could use them as a decoration, um, use them as a decoration for whatever. So they are, I think, very cute. And I, I can't show it sitting down, but they do sit quite nicely. And uh, they're a happy little spider. I like spiders. I think they're very, I like them because they eat mosquitoes and I hate mosquitoes. So go spiders, eat those mosquitoes. So this is our little uh, Walter uh, type spider from Walter's Wonderful Web, if you remember him, what he looked like. Yeah, so we made a Walter. Like I said, you can color in black and or whatever color you like. Thank you all very much. I hope to see you um, coming in and picking up a spider craft and maybe checking out some spider books and learning. Um, there's a lot of really good nonfiction books about spiders that so you can learn how wonderful they are and important they are for our planet. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.